Hello. I'm here with Mr. Smelly and we've got an unboxing for you. Exciting. Very excited. So this is the box and it arrived today. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to share the opening with everybody because I'm really excited. It's a brand new iris fragrance and I'm rather keen on an iris fragrance. You like a bit yep. of iris yourself, don't you, Mr. Smelly? Uh, I do like the note of iris and it's a brand that you're really keen on, isn't it? Yeah. So Claire's had a few perf uh, fragrances from this brand. It's a German uh, perfumer. Uh, and really, uh, he's the one man behind this company. Essentially, he makes all the perfumes and even hand writes the labels himself. So you might have guessed what it is. It's, uh, he does. He made okay, one of Claire's favourites. There's the outer box. And there we have it. So it's oh. Delirious Iris, and it's by SP Parfums. And, and the perfumer for that is Sven Pritzkele. Yep. So, other ones that Claire likes, um, you really like Suntan Glam and Powder, um, and dust. powder and Dust, and I do like those, and I also really like Lignum Vitae Forte, which is in, on a shelf behind me, a really nice aromatic fougere. So, here it is. Ta-da! Delirious Iris. Right, Delirious Iris from SP Parfums, and the bottles are kind of minimalist, but they are quite classy and good. He handwrites the labels, I think. Oh, looks handwritten anyway. Yeah, he does. And yeah. they're yeah, they're good, and they have really nice sprayers. So we're looking out, yeah. looking forward to oh. testing this sprayer out. Yep, yeah. I'm going to spray it up here. So it's got a little plastic thing to protect it. I'll spray it on here. I love how you can hold your finger on it and get a long mist, or you can just do a little tiny bit if you only want a little tiny bit. I think they're extract parfum, most of them are. And I've got the notes here, rum and whiskey, rum stroke whiskey accord, green aspects of violet leaf and cactus, iris root, tobacco, ambery, okumi wood, tonka extract, patchouli, musk. So okumi wood is a wood from African mm -hmm. forests. It's all I could find out about it. You, it's a hardwood used to make furniture. Uh -huh. Never heard of it. So. So we smelled it once before when it was a prototype. Now it's yep. the finished article, but presumably the same mix that he sent us. It's very potent. I think this is the one with. I'm sure I thought it had nutmeg in it. Right. When he sent us the oh, okay. sample, and to me it does smell kind of spicy with a nutmeg aspect to it. Yeah. Now that you say that, I could get that. Mm. It's. Very, it's got this rum or whiskey thing. We thought we got that a bit in the sample, and it's it's not really boozy smelling, is it? I, if no. it hadn't listed that, I wouldn't have said no, that's a I boozy fragrance. No, I wouldn't it's boozy, but when you know it's there, you can kind of understand. Maybe it's kind of a slightly syrupy boozy. Or is it even the it? peatiness of whiskey? You know, they're supposed to have yeah, some earthy. Yeah, and it does. Uh, Iris is supposed to be very earthy in this, so it could be. Um, could be that as well. So there is a sweetness as well, isn't there? Yeah, there's, 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 there's a sweetness. tonka in here, which could be giving it a, a bit of sweetness. It definitely feels a little bit spicy. It's very woodsy to me. And it's not a typical iris fragrance, so it doesn't smell like dual no. hum intense at all. No, or the more feminine leaning iris ones out there mm. either. Doesn't particularly remind me of your iris ganache by Galan that you love. No, no. In fact, Iris is just one player. It's not an Iris dominant fragrance, is it? To, I don't know. To you? If I think about Le Bleu from Galan, I can kind of see some mm, uh, yeah. some things that mm -hmm. are slightly similar, but it's not as light as Le Bleu. It's, it's quite heavy and niche smelling. Yeah. And I think, as with a lot of Sven Pritzkele stuff, some people won't quite find it to their liking at first. Yeah, or, it's definitely. If at all. With with SP Parfums, you do have to test these fragrances. I wouldn't mm -hmm. recommend blind buying. I fell head over heels in love with powder and dust. I really love Suntan Glam and I really like this. I really love Lignum but Vitae not, Forte. Yeah. But there have been a couple of others that even we were, were fans sure. were like, yeah. I don't think I would wear that one. So, yeah. And he has been a perfumer for a zoologist, which mm -hmm. gives you some idea of the kind of yeah. uh, niche, territory niche. that you could be in. Yeah. Niche, niche. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm... I'm liking this one. It's definitely got. It's got a bit of an animalic. Eh, like. it's, it's, I'm not sure where I stand on that one. <laughs> At first sniff, yeah, anima, it's, I think there's something animalic in there. Something, something funky. Suntan glam has an animalic edge to it, which reminds me of of people having sex. It's, it's kind of that's mm. that's what it speaks to me of, as well as all the other aspects to it. 
And I feel like there's similar notes in here that mm. are giving this a bit of an animalic sexiness. Yeah, sultry. Yes. In yeah. a sort of a slightly dark way, mm. but really interesting. Yeah, really I like rich. how spi I love. I really love the spiciness of it. Yeah, and, and the sweetness that's coming through. It's very different. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to giving it. Very full complex. Wearing. I think one that, where first impression never does anything full justice, but truly with his stuff, first impressions are just that, and mm. it will take you a real while to get used to how it performs, wears on your skin, how good it is in the air, the sillage, that kind of thing, yeah. as compared, compared to just going like that, and mm -hmm. we might go, oh, bloody hell, what's that? But I think it's rather interesting yeah. and compelling. I'm definitely, like, I've just put it on, mm. I like it that much, I'm going straight on with it. So we'll see, see how it develops. Yeah. And um, full review, definitely to follow. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, might might feature it over on my channel, uh, either on my channel individually or in a frag, in frag chat, chat episode yeah, uh, really soon. So let us know um, if you've tried any SP Parfum stuff, which ones you like, or yeah. even if you didn't like them, uh, let us know why and which ones you've tried. I'm going to link the website in the information below, and there are quite a few special offers to look out for on the website at the moment. There's some good deals going on, so if you are a fan of the fragrances, now is a good time to check it mm -hmm. out. Yeah, definitely worth checking them out. And they do these 30ml bottles, which is all you'll need because that keeps you going a long so time because they're so strong. So uh, that, that will last you a long while. They mm. are very high concentration, I believe. And I think the other main one they do is about a 7.5ml yeah, spray, which yeah. is, you know, that's a significant Still decan. Still lasts a good time, yeah, yeah. With these. So let us know what you think about that. Yeah. It's your channel, so you should be doing the outro. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and we'll yep. see you in the next video. Bye-bye.